Hey everyone, welcome to this video where I'm working on this Audi A3. This is in for a fiber optic ambient light install, which should be nice and simple, clean, fresh for this interior. It's definitely gonna be a nice upgrade from how it looks right now with no ambient lighting. So quickly, I'm gonna show you all what the car looks like all the way around and then look into actually dismantling it all and then fitting all the ambient lighting in. So without further ado, let me, let me show you guys what the car looks like inside. So yeah, that's the car. I'm gonna start stripping apart some of it just to have a look around, understand everything, and then I'll catch up with you all shortly as to how I got that done. So everyone, to remove the doors, it's actually a fairly easy process. I'm showing you on the driver's door, which is gonna be a little bit harder, but we need to get this little section off. And basically on the driver's door, that's all you need to do. I'm also taking this off now as well because I need access to the area here for the ambient light strip to go underneath. So that's the reason why I've taken this off and looks like someone's been here before actually because there's glue here. With regards to the rears, there's one extra step that we need to take. So let's take off this cover here. Just like that. And then the cover for the light switch there. So on the rears, we've got one screw here, one screw just there which is fine and on the front we've got a screw here one screw just in this area here and then another one just towards the front just over there once you've taken that off i use this trim removal tool in the corner pop it open and we'll be able to take off all the doors completely so i'll just show you guys what i'm doing so it's t20s so there's the first one off Pop it open. Job done. And with the rears, oh, someone's really messed around with this car. <laughs> now it's got screws in there. Comes off just like that. When it comes to doing the interior part, I've popped these panels off. They just, you just literally slide in a trim removal tool and pop it out and you'll have this panel come off. But just here, the gear selector, if you grab it just over here and pull upwards, the whole thing will come up. And with the cigarette lighter here, if you pull this back towards here, the whole thing will come out as well. Now, the reason why I've done that is to access the wiring that I'm gonna be using to get all of this done. And I'm basically gonna feed the footwell lights through here. I'll be able to bring the wiring over into this section as well. And then the wires for, and the live and earth going to that side and this side of the dash will also be fed from here all the way across, under and up. Same on that side as well. And that's how we're gonna get the ambient lighting installed. So my next step is actually going to be doing all the wiring and then showing you guys how I've done it. Cause that way it'll be clear and instead of me just pointing with my finger, you'll see how I've rooted everything. On the doors, by the way, on these modules, you'll see a thick brown and a red and green wire. The brown is the earth and the red and green is the live. If you connect into those on each door, you'll be able to connect up each one of the modules. Now the kit that we're using is this fiber optic kit which has individual modules to go all around the car so these this blue one is for the footwell lights these are for any other areas and this main one here is the command light which will tell all the others what to do so i'm gonna get all these connected up and then i'll show you all how to put the fiber optic into the door so everyone this is how i've connected up the modules they they come off just over here so you can fit the led onto the door but there's the t connectors just over here, you can see them all there. So there's the F, there's the live, and you get these double-sided tape with them as well with Velcro on it, so it's quite good. And this is how I've done the rears, and it's all connected up 
there. So now I'm gonna look at tackling the strip going across here. I think we're gonna get the actual, I think I'm gonna get the fiber optic out now and then I can fit it all in and test it all out. So everyone, this is how I've gone about it. I've undone the screws that hold the door handle in place and I fed in the strip for the fiber optic just through that gap. Once I'm putting it all back in, I'll line it up properly and you know, do it all just like that. But I just wanted to show you how that is. I had to unhook this and bring it down and stuff. But yeah, it's pretty nice, pretty clean and simple. So I'm just gonna screw all of these back on. And then this is the first door basically done. So everyone, you can see I've brought a live enough over to the bottom footwell area here, just literally under through the gap there over. Put the footwell light as well. And then put the other foot light wire across the um, center console and then out into the back to be sorted out later. And then I basically fed in the fiber optic strip just there. You can see all the way across. It might not be extremely bright, but at least we've got the lighting there. Um, and then had it come through and around through that gap area. The, the gap in this section was actually quite a lot. So I've had to use some tape and everything just to get it to stay in there. So now I'm just going to do the same on this side and then bit by bit, I can start buttoning everything up and basically making sure all the wiring and stuff is all connected over through to this live enough there. And this is how it's all wired up here. So this live is for the headlights, which is gonna be where the command light is connected to. And then the others, the, the red and black is the main live and the brown is the earth for the rest of the lights. So for the footwell and the other light over there, they're gonna be powered from the main live and earth. And just the command light that's being brought over here, that's gonna be powered by the ignition live. So the owner has begged me to try and get this strip to sit over here because it's the only way to have it showing on the outside now. It's not gonna sit there perfectly, um, but you could use some kind of super glue and really hold it on straight, but yeah, it's one of those where it's, I just, I'm trying to use tape and hot glue and stuff, but nothing wants to stick to the dashboard. So it's one of those situations where I, I just don't know. I, I'll let the owner decide if they're happy with it. I think this is one of those moments where the LED bead or symphony kit would have been perfect. It's one of those things where the, the groove is just too far in there and you can't see the lighting at all. So it could just be something where I try to have it sit out a little bit more, but I think that's the best I'm gonna get it to. You can't see it perfectly, but it's better than what it was like before. Right, time to tidy up a little bit and then we'll look around the car. So with the Audi A3, the pre-facelift one, it is definitely a little different. The other ones that I have worked on, the facelift versions, the dashboard, as you guys saw with the glove box section, it really did not come out the way I would have liked it to. Um, again, you have to work within the budgets of individuals and also um, what the requirements are of the install and stuff like that. If it was me, I would have definitely opted for either the LED bead or the Symphony kit instead of the fiber optic, just because it would have come out looking so much cleaner. Um, I leave a couple of footages here of a Golf Mark VI with a LED bead kit. It was actually the most recent video that I've done and uploaded on. You can just tell the difference how the bead kit looks. It's just so much cleaner and it's a brighter light as well. So going across the dashboard, I think that would have looked a lot better there. So that would be my recommendation. I do have another video showing all the different types of kits that you can get. So I'll leave that linked in the description and at the end of this video as well. So have a look at that. See what comes out best for your car. Personally speaking, on the pre-facelift Audi A3, minimum I would go for is the LED bead kit. Ideally go for the LED symphony kit and you'll be able to have everything 
that you could ever want with ambient lighting. But for now everyone, I'm going to leave this video here. I hope to see you all in a future video. Please consider subscribing. This is another car. I'm working on my sister's 5 Series at the moment. Doing Starlight to that. So yeah, lots of good, fun, different car content coming out. And I hope to see you all in the future. Peace out. Bye.